And hey guys, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 bringing you part 15 of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, in this video, we're heading into the Forest Temple, and one thing I should probably point out is if you save your game while in a temple, um, you can actually start your file up in the temple, so you won't have to like worry about starting from like the main part of the game, which is like in this case, the Temple of Time, since we're Adult Link now, and we won't be no longer starting in Kokori Forest like we used to. Now we're just starting in, um, in the Temple of Time. But yeah, necessarily you don't have to start there, but if you do save your game in a temple like this, um, that'll be, that's, you'll basically just start your game up from there. Or any, basically any dungeon, um, to be honest, or for that matter. So, yeah, here I was wasting a little bit of time, you know, killing these guys. I honestly don't even know why I didn't cut this out, because th this was just really stupid. I actually didn't even get anywhere trying to beat this guy, because he was just being completely retarded. Like, I tried shooting him with the hook. I think I do end up getting him, but I end up wasting time, because um, after I kill this guy, um, I go through the door only to realize I left something behind, which was a key. Um, something which I think anyone would have left behind. So. Because people, I've have heard stories where people have left a key behind from the starting point. Like, see, there was no point in me going into that door, because there was a key that I missed. Um, and I don't really realize that till like, after I go into this next door, that after going in here, that I realize, oh crap, I missed a key. Um, and yeah, I turned the volume down. It, it was actually pretty loud during this recording session, just like the, the temple and everything, like music was pretty loud, but I will say though, the music for this temple's pretty nice. I do like this music, kind of a bit creepy, but other other than that, not, not too bad. Um, so let's see here. Um, yeah, I realized, yeah, it was right there at that part that I realized that I missed a key at the beginning of the of the game, the temple thing, dungeon, whatever. Might as well just call it the temple. I mean, I know it's technically a dungeon, but it's like, I don't know. I guess dungeon would probably be the word, because if I just say temple, people would probably just get pissed at me. I don't know. Anyways, here we are, going back to the beginning, and yep, I'm skipping these stupid wolf enemies, because, yeah. I was kind of hoping to go a little higher than that, but that's alright. Actually, it was a good thing I, I went back, because not only did I miss the treasure chest, but I also missed a gold scotula, too, in the process. So I missed two things, basically. Um, basically, I was just wanting to try to get this temple done as fast as I could, and, well, you could say that that did not work out too well. Um, but anyways, we destroyed a gold scotula, and then now we're gonna head over here, try to grab the treasure chest, which, lucky for us, we can use the hook shot to it so we don't have to jump across the platform to get the key that's in there. Um, and yeah, that was definitely terrible, the way I fell. Alright, well, let's just get back in the door, and then I'll just use her hook shot onto that uh, scotula, and then yeah, head into the door. So now we just kind of have to... So you might have saw that, yeah, there were four torches and all four of them went out. Um, basically those creatures you saw were uh, Poe sisters and we have to take out four of those guys. So, so that's basically what we're going to be doing is taking out Poe sisters. Poe's are basically, like, I guess you could say the ghosts in this game, like, they're, I guess they're like the boos from Mario, I guess you could say, but, yeah. But anyways, let's just head on to the next side. Oh, and then we gotta face these guys. So, basically, you're gonna have to be taking a few daring stunts. Basically, you want to try to hook shot them the moment, right around the moment they try to make the attempt of hitting you. So, 
Now there's one area like this where you actually have to try to get both of these guys taken out quickly before one of them gets back up. Otherwise you're just gonna have you'll just be stuck for a while trying trying to beat these guys. Um, I don't think it's this area, but there's a later part in the dungeon where you gotta do it. I think it's gonna be either in the next video or the video after. Because I know this this actually wound up taking three parts to finish. Um as far as I remember, though, in this video, we end up getting two of the four torches um, lit up, so... Which means the next video, we just gotta get the other two, and then I think in part three, we just gotta beat the boss. Oh, yeah, I definitely want that heart. I'm trying to figure out what else is in here. Checking to see, like, if I have any... No, I don't have any available fairies at the moment. So, all I can do now is just leave. So, just take out that enemy, and then... I think at this point, we can just head on out. So, we now have two keys, so we can basically proceed onwards. But yeah, even though I haven't really actually played this dungeon for quite a while, I was still lucky enough to remember where everything was, like where I was needing to go. So we need to head into this door, and take out that Scotula. But yeah, despite how creepy the music is, I, I still personally, I personally think it's alright. Um, but anyways, take this guy out. Um, let's see. So what you're gonna want to do is try to. Uh, make your way to the top. So yeah, you might have also noticed that, yeah, there is a bit of a problem with the camera reflection in this video. And that is just because I decided that this was one video I wanted to record during the daytime. So, while well, it was like still daylight outside. Now, a couple things I should probably point out. Um, is this block here. Um, notice the the symbol on this block, okay? Because take good notes on this, because this symbol, um, you'll see that in other versions is a lot different in the other versions. Um, and that's mainly because Nintendo had to fix that in later Zelda games. Um, so, as I had put, mentioned in the description of the playlist for the Zelda versions, that um, versions 1.0 and like versions 1.2 are, are a little bit different. 1.2 basically fixes a lot of bugs that 1.0 had. Um, and it did do a few minor changes to the game. And one of these minor changes was the symbol on these blocks here. Um, you'll see that they're a lot different in the other versions um, compared to this one. Which, you know... I could do a walkthrough of both versions of Ocarina of Time, but, you know, I'm not going to do that, just because it's just pointless, you know? If you want to see the comparisons of what these blocks actually look like, you know, you can probably just look it up on your own. Because I'm sure there are other people that are probably that have probably done, like, the GameCube version of this game with Master's, Master Quest, because I know in that version, um, they definitely fixed the bugs that the original version had like they they fixed the they changed the symbols on those blocks they did some changes to some of the so, of some of the soundtrack not like a major change mainly just one dungeon in particular um, and that dungeon being the the fire temple which is actually the next temple we'll be heading into in the next well not next video but after this dungeon, that'll be the next temple we're heading to, next dungeon or whatever. And that's basically where I had mentioned in the description that the music for the Fire Temple is different depending on which version you're playing. Because I'm playing 1.0, you're going to be hearing the original Fire Temple theme with the chanting and all that stuff. Um, again, it was removed, which it was removed in other versions. So, if any. Anybody who owns like the Master Quest version on GameCube or 3DS copy, then yeah, you basically already know how much more different than each version is. Um, 
and I will probably explain further about what each of the songs of the Fire Temple are like when we actually get to that temple, but for now let's just focus on the Forest Temple and where we need to go. So basically we pushed down uh, two of those blocks and now we're going to head up to the top. Um, so let's see here, we want to get rid of this guy, and then this guy as well. Apparently, even though I had him on Z-Target, I still had a hard time stunning him. Alright, well, I don't need Deku Nuts, so let's just, um, move on. Yeah, we got a key. Yeah, I forgot that I didn't have the item to hit that, that eye, so... Uh, yeah, it's all twisted. Like, no shit, Navi. I kinda get it. Oh yeah, the shadow monsters, or shadow claws as I like to call them, or no, shadow hand sounds better. Oh yeah, and then right here, I find out that I didn't have a key, so I had to go someplace else to, to look for one. Yeah, I was running around because one of the shadow enemies was about to fall. If you kill him, the shadow monster, you actually get a ton of rupees, not that I have any use for them, because I've already gotten quite a lot of rupees at this point. And over above to the left is the treasure chest um, for the boss for the boss battle. The boss key. Um, which we will not be able to get to until until the next video. So you're probably wondering where are we supposed to go now? Well there's actually one area I have not yet been to and there that has a key, so I'm gonna go there and go get that. What I probably should have done was I should have just did did a cut to like the beginning, the main part of the level, but I didn't do that. And that was also because there was a shortcut that I could take. So let's kill this guy. And then we can just make our way out of here. I'm just seeing if he gives any rewards. I don't think he really gives you anything after you kill him the first time. Let's see here. Yeah, let's look at to see if there was anywhere else I could go before I went into that area. Yeah, that door's sealed off, so yeah, I guess our only option is to go over here, play the, the Song of Time to get rid of this block. you do that, and then you can head into the door. Right, so here, you have to stun this guy. Gives you another Deku Nut. Again, I really have no use for those. I guess you didn't need the hook shot for that. So there's really nothing across the bridge. Yeah, but you want to try to get rid of as many of these gold, or not gold skulltulas, regular skulltulas as you can. And I have every bit of confidence that these guys are just regular skulltulas. Yeah, I don't need the Deku Nut. 30 is basically the maximum amount you can carry up to. Um, some of you who are probably watching this might think it's not 30. Well, it actually is. Um, if you hadn't watched some of my previous videos, I did a side quest where I was able to upgrade my Deku Nuts to 30, which, again, really didn't have any use for it, but I still did it anyways, because why not? So the, skull the skeleton enemy, basically once you kill him, You'll get a treasure chest, which I believe gives you the dungeon map. So, really nothing that useful, but I guess having it is nice. So, yep, yeah, now that we have that, we can head into, uh... No, not, not that door. This door. that guy, and then, and then him 
to. So just aim up there. Yeah, I was having a hard time aiming this thing. Alright, so just hit the switch and then drain the water level. Just fall into that water so you don't take damage. Yeah, you don't take damage if you fall into the water, so that's good. Alright, come on now. So let's see, we need to go. Oh, yeah, there's a gold scotula there. I honestly don't even remember how you're supposed to get that one. Um, like I said, I have not played this game for, or I haven't, yeah, I necessarily hadn't played this game for quite a little while, um, so I hardly can remember how to get that gold scutula. Um, but yeah, I ended up skipping that one, never really got him. I may come back for it at some point later on, like if I feel up to it, I'll return to this dungeon and re-grab it, but for now, I'm just not really going to worry about it right now. You can grab a couple heart pieces, and as I was going onwards, I thought, oh crap, is the treasure not really there? But yeah, I wasn't paying close enough attention, and I kept thinking it wasn't there, but then I kind of, kind of rethought for a second and thought, no, maybe I'll just go for it, and sure enough, it was worth it, because yeah, that's where the key is at. Now that we got the key, we can finally get back to where we were at before. Alright, so just keep making our way through. So yeah, I think the most annoying part is having to climb all the way back up. Not blue bubble, that's what these guys are. So they're basically called bubbles, but I guess the color basically depends on which one you're battling. Yeah, so the blue bubble, and then there I guess there's a green one. Yeah, I turned the volume down a little bit more. Because it was still pretty loud, but... Eh. I don't know. Yeah, the volume on my TV was still pretty loud, but... Yeah. Alright, so just make your way up here. where I fell off at when I realized I didn't have what I need. Alright, so just go on ahead and make your way over here. Alright, come on, Link. Let's hurry before that Shadow monster falls down. Oh uh, yeah, and there's one of the post sisters, but again, we can't deal with them until we get our uh, item for this level. So we just gotta go in the store here, and then and this is where we face these guys again. So I think it's lucky for us. There's only like one of them. Although, I think another one winds up appearing it's here in a second. Yeah, it 
took some damage, but you know, it was worth it. Yeah, if you fall in that pit, you're basically screwed. Like, he might be able to stand on it, but you can't stand on it yourself. Oh, but see, now this is where you have to actually kill both of these guys. Like, you have to kill... Like, as soon as you kill one of them, you gotta try to kill the other one as quickly as you can before the other one respawns. Yeah, I actually did it. I did end up being close to losing all my hearts. Like, if you think this part's pretty tough, like, the boss fight is actually just as difficult. So yeah, now we just gotta quickly try to finish this guy off before it's too late. So it looks like we did it just in time. But yeah, just with very little health left. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to replenish as much of my health as I can. Alright, let's see what's in the treasure chest. Fairy bow. Yep. Instead of using the slingshot um, as adult Link, we'll be using the fairy bow. So it's basically the slingshot, but eh, a little bit better, I guess you could say. And yeah, right now we can only carry up to 30 arrows, but later on we'll be able to upgrade to 40. Um, and then there's also a later part in the game where you can actually upgrade to 50, but... Um, yeah, I don't end up dealing with that at all. Like, 40 is basically the amount I'm probably just going to stick to. Because getting 50 arrows is actually very difficult, especially with the upgrade. Like, the upgrade for that one is just so annoying, so I'm not really going to be getting that upgrade at all. So, yep. Basically got to shoot the paintings that have the sister in it and then the last one's like right behind us but we gotta we gotta aim at a certain p spot and not be too close to it otherwise it'll disappear right, so now we just gotta battle this post sister they're really not that difficult to beat either it's just you gotta hit them when they're not invisible basically just like that. Yeah, and don't get hit like I did. So, yep, just gotta go around, wait till they appear, and then hit them. So you're basically doing this with all four of them, although the last one is the most annoying one. Because it's actually a lot different than the than the one you're seeing right now. Alright. And so with that, we now have a treasure chest. Which gives us a key. Which, that's also pretty useful. treasure chest, so we can just move on. Yeah, I don't really need arrows, but thanks anyways. Oh yeah, I was too close to it, so I screwed up. Yeah, 
let's just keep shooting. I think the last one's behind us. So that door is where we need to go, but we're not gonna go in there just yet. Alright, but yeah, I think we're gonna basically just battle this last Poe sister. We're just gonna battle this Poe sister, and then I think that's gonna be the end of this video. So, yep. Just like the last one, you just gotta wait for him, wait for her to appear, and then, then attack, and then strike with the hook shot. got it. We just need one more hit. And yeah, don't get hit like I did. So I think she she just has one more hit and then we're good. Good to go. Yeah, and all we get is a stinking arrow, which I guess is nice. Basically that's worth five arrows, so that'll put us back up to 30. see what's in this treasure chest. It's probably the compass, most likely. Yeah. I guess that's nice to have. So, yeah, I think that probably winds up being mostly the end of this video, but uh, I can't say for sure, but yeah. Okay, but yeah, I... I believe we just have to go all the way over there.